this has been in my brain for days now and it won't leave. So I thought maybe if I make a video, it finally will. Grow with Jo is a very big fitness channel. She started relatively recently and has really grown. I do some of her cardio walking workouts. They're usually pretty low impact. It's got the crap royalty free epidemic sound music that we all love. She doesn't talk, which is nice. And she's just really cute. She's fun to watch. She's like smiling the whole time. You know, she's adorable. But I kind of feel bad watching her stuff because she does some stuff I don't really agree with. Some of her thumbnails, a walk that's going to help you reduce specifically lower belly fat. Hmm. But overall, she's very motivating. She's getting people to move, hopefully, maybe. So that's good. Point is, this video popped up. Grow with Joe is misleading you. What's the truth by Frumpy Fit? It was a very nice, well-worded, nuanced video about Grow with Joe talking about exactly what I just talked about, promoting this idea of spot training, right? You can spot reduce fat. If you do some arm movements, you can specifically remove fat here what the thumbnail where she has it photoshopped, where she has arm fat and then she doesn't. There's no diet or exercise that you can do that's gonna target a specific area over others. You could add muscle size or muscle tone to that area that might help change the appearance of it, but you're not decreasing the fat mass in that area. And I think it's irresponsible to claim that you can do so. Again, there's a lot of nuance. Maybe it's not that bad because it's, it's getting people to move, but also like you're misleading people. When you're stressed out, your body like stops all fat loss, which is not true, but am I mad at the result of that advice being people aiming for a reduction in stress? No. Am I mad that she's getting tons of people to exercise and be motivated? No. Asking like, how bad is this? What do you think in terms of clickbaiting is crossing the line? What do you feel like is misleading? How much of the responsibility do you feel like falls on the creator versus the consumer? She references another YouTuber, Chloe Ting. I guess she got in a lot of trouble for that because she said, look, Chloe Ting doing the same sort of thing. She had a video that was like, get abs in 10 weeks. No, I think it was 10 days. She got responses from people saying, well, yeah, like everyone knows you're not really gonna have abs in 10 days. I know people personally who did Chloe Ting's workouts expecting to get a specific result that they did not get because they were misled by the title and the thumbnail. She took before and after photos of her stomach wanting to see how much progress she would get on her stomach specifically from these Chloe Ting workouts. And she was incredibly disappointed with the results. And it's really unfair to just like call people stupid if they do believe it. Like, oh, you should already know it's clickbait. And if you don't, sucks for you. You're an idiot. And she's right. It is unfair. And it's, it's not smart to assume that if you read comments, which I do sometimes on fitness videos, most of them are just like, hey, thank you so much. I've lost X amount of weight. And it's like really positive. And then you'll get some from people who clearly don't know anything about fitness, exercising, nutrition, often young girls, I'm 11. How do I make my baby fat go away? You know, how do I make my tummy fat go away? That sort of thing. Like they probably would believe that you could get abs in 10 days. She mentions her bias. I acknowledge that a lot of times I have a stick up my butt. I tend to take everything really seriously for a while. I'm getting over it. thought it was misleading to take a screenshot of my facial expression from a different video and use it on a thumbnail of like this video. I thought that was misleading to the point where it felt icky for me to do it. Does anybody care? I was like, well, they're gonna see in the thumbnail that I'm wearing a yellow shirt. And then when I'm, they're watching the video, I'm wearing a black shirt and like, that's misleading. Which I 100% know what she's talking about. <laughs> point is she's acknowledging that that's silly. It's like when I talk about family vlogging, I make sure that people know, look, I don't say my kids' names. I don't even say their genders. Like that's how reserved and kind of crazy I am with this. So I might be coming down harder on family vlogging than I should. And that's what she's saying here, which you never see. I never see someone acknowledging something like that in, in a critique, just a really good video. And so I thought, well, I'm gonna go down to the comments. I bet there's, I bet there's lots of people telling her what a great video this is. Oh my God, this ain't it girl. Her workouts actually work and she's positive and helps a lot of people actually lose weight. I've been doing her workouts for two months and lost 20 pounds. 1.6 thousand upvotes. This ain't it girl. I If there is a worse phrase in the English language. I guess buckle up when there's a long Twitter thread. Buckle up. Get ready. I'm going to drop some knowledge on you. Oh, God.
I'd like to apologize to myself first, to Joe and her community for clicking on this video. Thank goodness I didn't even go further than one minute and 12 seconds. Not you calling out clickbait with clickbait. How does anyone find a way to hate on Joe? Again, the title is Grow With Joe is Misleading You, What's the Truth? Which is not clickbait. If by clickbait we mean getting people to click on something and it's not actually in the video or it's misleading, again, like telling people they can get abs in 10 days or they can specifically remove arm fat by doing arm workouts, that is misleading. The calorie burn. Frumpy, frumpy fit. <laughs> she also talks about the calorie burn, which is something I've also noticed. 45 minute workout and it says burn 600 calories. In what world? <laughs> the amount of calories you burn is based on your intensity. It's also based on your sex. It's based on your age. It's based on your weight. You can't just say this workout burns 600 calories, especially 600 calories in 45 minutes. I think she has one that's like 800 calories in an hour. Like again, what? <laughs> that is so unlikely for like anyone. I will never understand how people find so much time to trash other people. <laughs> oh, here's my favorite. You're a different kind is miserable. <laughs> You're a different kind of miserable when all she's saying is, hey, this person's just posting misleading stuff that that's oh my goodness I just I despise YouTube it's not just YouTube it's just people and people becoming obsessed with other people they don't even know it's so strange and just defending them so vehemently and calling someone miserable I'm so happy to see that every comment here is positive and in support of Joe yes calling someone miserable is really positive <laughs> What's that phrase, toxic positivity? I love that so much. Being positive all the time can be dangerous because it can mean that you're misleading people. It can mean that you aren't opening yourself up to the truth because you're so fearful of being negative or experiencing something negative, not wanting to watch a video because it criticizes someone and it's too negative. Maybe you could have learned something really important if you had stuck through it. It's not good to be negative all the time, but it's also not good to be positive all the time and to call people miserable because they criticized your favorite influencer. <laughs> a lovely patron let me know that this channel, Team for Never Lean, I like that name, he did a video, he actually did two videos on Grow With Joe with very similar critiques as Frumpy Fit. Somewhat like clickbaity titles like 50 minute lower belly to batter fat burn for beginners. This kind of does imply a bit of spot reduction of fat, like lower belly to batter fat burn. And I don't actually see her stating anywhere that you can't spot reduce fat, even in the disclaimer at the bottom. But he did not get such a vitriolic response. If you go down to the comments, people are saying, hey, I've lost weight with her, but I don't see anyone saying you're trashing people or you're a miserable person. <laughs> now I could say, oh, sexism. Clearly, I, I don't know. There could be lots of reasons. I think he's a little bit more light in his delivery. As Frumpy Fit says, she's a very serious person and she comes across as more serious. And also the audience could be completely different. I mean, number one, his videos didn't get near as many views. So maybe it just didn't reach the crazy hardcore Joe fans. Final thing I have to talk about is Joe's big booty tight tummy video program because I think this is possibly the worst thing because she's asking for money. $97.99. So big booty, right? You're gonna you're gonna get you're gonna get a big booty without any equipment. You can certainly build some amount of muscle if you are a beginner, but you have to be very, very, very specific in order to build meaningful amounts of muscle without any equipment. It is really hard. There is a reason 99% of people choose to use weights, choose to use extra resistance, not just their own body weight. And also, a lot of us are just never going to have a big booty. It's just not, it's not in our genes and the amount of muscle we would have to gain in order to do that. Again, you're going to need weights. You're going to need access to a gym or have a really good home gym with a squat rack and be really dedicated and diligent with your eating. Make sure you are eating enough in order to gain muscle and do that for years on end. Oh, I feel cleansed. It's out of my system. Thank you so much for watching, everybody. I would love it if you would subscribe for more content like this. <laughs> Maybe not. I don't know. But thank you. Thank you, of course, to all of my patrons at patreon.com slash unnaturalvegan. I do upload two exclusive videos there a month for $5 plus patrons, one of them being a controversial video, controversial topic that's not related to veganism. Thanks again, guys. New video soon. It is five o'clock and I have had a protein bar and a bowl of cereal. Killing it.